deploying in the middle of a pandemic, all to fight the global war on terror. Thanks for staying with WJZ. I'm Nicole Baker. And I'm Vic Carter. Tonight, members of the Maryland National Guard are on their way to the Middle East. WJZ is live tonight. Stetson Miller was at today's deployment as our local heroes took off from BWI. Stetson? Nicole, over 100 soldiers left here from BWI today to head to the Middle East. And even in the midst of this pandemic, Governor Hogan came here to greet them all before taking off. And I just wanted to come out today uh, on behalf of all of the citizens of the state of Maryland and just let you know uh, how much we appreciate you. Governor Hogan taking a moment away from the state coronavirus effort to address members of the Maryland National Guard before deployment. I'm really sorry I can't shake all your hands, but I'm going to give you one of these and tell you uh, good luck. I know you're going to perform admirably as you always do. The 130 soldiers will travel to different parts of the Middle East to provide intelligence capabilities. They're the first National Guard military intelligence brigades to deploy in support of combat operations. Families had to say goodbye a little bit differently than they normally would because of the pandemic. But because of COVID-19 um, and social distancing considerations, we're doing a, a rolling farewell. Sets of families came through to say goodbye at different times based on rank. I mean, it feels great knowing that my dad's fighting for our freedom. They're going on to fight the global war on terror, a war that wages on even as much of the world has come to a halt. The big thing is just to keep the soldiers and the families and people's prayers. Um, while it's hard for us overseas. It's just as hard back on the home front for the families. And this deployment was actually delayed by about a month and a half because of COVID-19, but now they are going to continue on to fight. We're live at BWI, Stetson Miller for WJZ.